In this video, we are going to create a color scheme by department, as you see here, with the various colors, as well as import our department legend so that it graphically conveys exactly what we're trying to create here. Um, you can see each one of the departments that we've created, and we'll go through the process. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we want to do, we're going to start with our first floor, is I'm going to duplicate the view with detailing, which allows my room names to come along. And let's just go ahead and rename this. And I'm just going to give it presentation first floor. All right, and then the next thing I want us to do is we're actually going to come down on our browser to the room schedule. Let's pull that up. And I want us to go ahead and sort the room schedule and add a department column. So if we come over here to our properties, and I'm just going to click on edit for my fields category, and you'll see this menu for schedule properties once again. And I'm going to type, I'm going to click on the department, and let's add that to the scheduled fields here. And then I want us to come over here to our sorting and grouping tab. And we're going to sort this by level. And then we're going to just go ahead and sort it by name. And I'm going to get rid of the other categories for sorting. And because I want to add in a, a break line between each of the levels, because we're going to focus on just the first floor, I'm going to toggle the box to add a blank line between the levels. And let's just click OK. Now you see we have a schedule that sorts the information by level and then by name. Because names that ha are very similar, we want to make sure that we go ahead and give them a similar department name. And I'm just going to stretch my department column out a little bit and actually shr shrink down this area column. OK. So now we have what we need. And we would begin to type in categories. So let's focus right here on the first floor. And I'm just going to type in an admin category. And then I'm going to create a lobby category for the Boyd Street entrance name. I'm going to create an educational for cabinetry. And you'll see once I click on the carpentry name, I can actually pick one of these previously created department names that we, we've just created here. So I'm going to give that educational as well. The classroom, the same. Custodial, we're going to create a utilities. We're going to give this an educational as well for the electronic, technology, classroom, food service. We're going to give it, we're going to create a new type for that. So I'm going to type in here as well. That's going to be my other category. General Computer Lab, we'll leave that educational as well. Home Building Remodeling Educational. Come down to Utilities for our closet. The Mechanical Labs will be educational. We're going to go ahead and use Utilities for our restrooms as well. The non-credit general lab educational. So you'll see the majority of these spaces will be educational. The Riley Street entrance, we're going to give that a lobby. Utilities, that'll fall under, or I'm sorry, security will fall under utilities. The commons, we're going to give that a recreational group. And women's restroom will go under utilities as well. 
using the schedule and adding the department field is the easiest way to go ahead and manipulate these departments for each one of your rooms. Now that we've completed this, I do want to go back to this floor plan. And if I select on any space and come over to properties once again, if you scroll down, you will see underneath of identity data a department field. And you can select room by room and type in the department as well. However, the schedule, utilizing the schedule in this BIM environment is the easiest way to find that department field as quickly as possible across the entire level. So there is another way to access the department field for each one of your rooms. Now that we've specified the department types for each room and we're back in our presentation view, the last thing we need to do is manipulate the visibility graphics for this view. So if you remember from our previous video, this part is similar to creating a color schedule by room name as well but we're coming down to the color scheme field and if I just select on this as far as the category we want to change this to rooms once again but you'll see we have a department listed on listed here so the last thing we want to do is if we wanted to manipulate any of these colors we could do it here right now um, you see what Revit gives by default is some the various Pantone and RGB colors but we can just click on any one of these colors I would do it admin for example and I can give this a red and I can actually tone it down so that it's not as vibrant uh, and reads as a background category to my room and I can click OK for that and I can repeat the process for as many as I need to but I'll just click apply and actually if I drag my menu over you can see that the colors already take effect and I can begin to manipulate them a little bit further if I need to just to get what I'm looking for so I might want to use something of a green shade for my classrooms and and gray that out some and I'll click apply and you can see that change take effect and now you'll see all of our rooms are actually gone ahead and they represent each department that we've created here and the last thing we're going to do is I just want to come up to my annotate tab and if you come down here to this color field panel I'm just gonna click on my color field legend and I'm gonna drag in a legend and if I zoom in you'll see the categories that are created on our department legend that just represent each one of the color types that we've assigned to the faces for this first floor presentation plan. I hope this video has been helpful for you.